from a viewer perspective, the boundaries between broadcast television and CTV will continue to blur until there is really no distinction anymore. And connected TV provides the best of sight, sound, and motion to its viewers with the potential of precision, speed, and transparency to advertisers. So like digital, if CTV is primarily transacted programmatically, I think it creates a win-win situation for everybody in the long run. But don't rule out linear TV. Linear TV is not going away anytime soon, and too many providers are focused on solutions that are only focused on a single channel or a single medium like connected TV. That is why taking a converged approach is the right one where you can blend strategies and workflows across the converged landscape. How do we uh, help planners and buyers buy across the entirety of, of their stack? So not necessarily just programmatic, but if you think about programmatic, both in video and in display, but then also linear TV, um, you know, out of home, all of these things have really great houses to buy individually, but a single point of execution where you can go and buy across these things is still something that we haven't quite achieved, right? Sort of that panacea. Um, and I think as sort of a sub point to that, if you think about the interoperable or interoperability story and challenges that we sort of face specific to CTV, um, you know, whether that's, you know, the, the linear addressable linear VOD or, you know, sort of, you know, standard streaming services, uh, how we resolve across those things has been a challenge that we face as an industry for a long time. As we think about transparency and why the need for it, you know, of course, as we think about share shifting from linear television into connected TV, we know every spot that airs down to the second and in what program in linear TV. And if we're looking to put those two next to each other, we want to make sure that we can seamlessly move back and forth to maximize our reach against our audiences. But we want to know where we had the opportunity to air. A lot of that is to ensure that our do not air lists are being appropriately uh, implemented for our buys. But just additionally, it's going to allow us to be smarter with our buys moving forward, knowing what programs are our audiences really tuning into to allow us to make better, smarter buying decisions for future campaigns, whether that's also in national linear or continuing into the connected TV space. So transparency is core, and it's really important for, for our advertisers just to know where we had the opportunity to run and where we did run. From the buyer's perspective, uh, they really want to know what they're getting. In the programmatic ecosystem, if the metadata isn't shared with the buyer uh, and the buyer doesn't know, or rather if the buyer only knows that it's an opportunity with one of Televisa Univision's apps uh, with no context of what genre or what program or what pod positioning there is, um, then the, the buyer isn't none the wiser on, on the value in which um, the content is 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 driving for, for the buyer. So when we start to juxtapose that with, um, you know, what was offered in, in our linear services, it's actually fairly standard. And I see this as sort of the a part of the convergence between uh, traditional linear television and CTV um, and the programmatic world. I think it's a little bit about ensuring that we're transparent, we're sharing uh, and fulfilling the full value of what our content, um, you know, can offer. Uh, the advertising experience on connected TV is of critical importance to us. Obviously, as a, uh, a platform that consumers are, are paying uh, money each month to consume the content they want, we take the user experience um, very, very seriously. And what we can excel at as, as publishers in, in the CTV space is using all of the data available to us to personalize and, and customize um, the advertising experience. So whether that's um, serving auto ads to people who are in market for an auto or serving tune-in ads to people who have a high propensity to view that type of content, we customize uh, each experience almost down to the impression level to um, make sure that consumers are, are engaged and have an enjoyable ad experience while they're watching content on Fubo. From the Vine perspective, as it relates to connected TV and some of the major problems and opportunities that the Vine community faces, at a high level, we feel that it stems from quite simply having too much of a good thing. The wealth of choices that advertisers have to plan, buy, and run CTV media campaigns creates, we'll call it interesting challenges down the line. 
One of those crucial issues they face is around inconsistent reporting. This is both a challenge as well as a huge opportunity. Due to the number of platforms and devices that run ads at any given time, it can be a challenge for marketers to accurately measure the success of a CTV ad campaign. For that reason, we see measurement and reporting becoming a key driver of purchasing decisions in the future. Vine's Adelphic platform, our, our DSP, offers holistic reporting through leveraging our suite of advanced reporting tools, including offering insights into conversion lift, multi-touch attribution analytics, and even foot traffic reports that span across a brand's chosen CTV inventory sources. So here at Kroger and with retail media networks as a whole, what we're seeing is that every brand's advertising budget is, is under pressure right now. Um, they need to prove performance and advertisers are looking for those solutions so that they can help reduce waste and reach the right people at the right time. And that's through better targeting and better measurement and optimizations. So retail media networks as a whole offer that solution. Um, there, we're able to share not just the traditional media networks, media metrics that they're used to seeing, but also business outcomes and business impact to the bottom line. Um, so it is using the loyalty programs that retailers have to um, deterministically target uh, consumers and then on the back end match those media exposures to um, an offline uh, activity like a sale. Um, and so we're seeing uh, that this is having a, a profound impact on the media industry as a whole, and it, it's truly transformational. Um, and so we're setting new expectations for media um, in the industry so that uh, they can truly hold their media accountable to business outcomes. I think that inventory transparency and this program level metadata and then pod positioning in general, um, it's really important in terms of this end state of media buyers and advertisers um, being able to have more control in targeting and then reporting in connected TV environments. Um, if you look at the linear television landscape as an example, um, there's a tremendous amount of control in terms of buyers knowing um, which shows that they're buying into and what networks they're buying into. But conversely, when we're looking at the connected TV space, there's still a bit of, uh, you know, need for increased uh, availability of control over targeting and reporting. Um, and I think that there's a tremendous value that advertisers will get um, when having access to this in terms of having pod position data, because it does allow for better business outcomes. Um, so again, I think having access to that granular level of targeting, it's really critical um, in terms of having intentional ad slot placements, which would theor uh, theoretically then allow for better business outcomes. What we're focused on um, in the second half of this year and beyond is a continued approach in, in partnerships. So we want to make sure that when we are working with partnerships uh, and partners, that we are uh, cross-pollinating both digital and linear sort of knowledge uh, of, of our business models. We operate a very complex business model as it pertains to being a service provider to programmers, as well as having an advertising business. Um, as well as distributing um, our streaming services on other digital distribution platforms. So it, where we want to focus on is, is how do we all come together in various different business models and enrich each other's business um, versus try and put each other out of business? And I'll tell you that the expectation from the viewer when they're watching their TV is that connected TV is going to look the same as traditional, you know, broadcast TV or cable, you know, the pay TV. So um, that's our expectation is that we can deliver on our viewers' expectations. But look, let's face it, um, with programmatic demand, um, you know, we're working with SpringServe, who has a, uh, a dedupe solution. Um, we have all other demand partners as well, but the, the majority of our revenue comes to SpringServe, but it's still not perfect. And so um, the one thing I will say is that while seeing the same ad twice in the same pod is not a great experience, and that's certainly something we don't want to uh, see often, and, and the viewer doesn't want to see often, I think there's only one thing worse than that, and that's slate. 